Dogs are said to be man's best friend, but did you know there was a period in Japanese history where dogs became gods? Yes, this is Edo period of Japan, and under the reign of the fifth shogun, Tokugawa Tsunayoshi, dogs became gods in Japan, and all killing and harming of any life form was banned. In today's episode of JJ Japan, I'm talking about Shouri Awarumi no Re. Otanashimi. So we're in a period in the Edo period from 1688 to 1709, what should be called the Dog Period, Inu Jidai. Why, as we said in the intro, because Togawa Tsuyoshi declared Shuri Awarumi no Re wants basically, hmm, how do we translate this to English more? It's like life forms next order. It's a bit weird, but it basically ended up encompassing all like living creatures, not really plants, but animals. You can't harm them at all, like at all. And this kind of and it was a bit of an escalation. Why? Because Togawa Tsuyoshi, well, he was a bit of a dictator in the sort of way. He was very pumped, very pruned. And no one really said no to him. So, when someone says, well, you have to protect dogs, I'm like, I'm gonna protect dogs! And humans, well, you can be taken off the top of the food pyramid and put at the bottom. Because if you harm a dog in any way, well, you'll be punished, and in some cases people got put to death because they killed dogs. You want to kick a stray dog on the street? Well, you may get buried in sand for three days with just your head sticking out. Enjoy. Particularly the dog issue was actually an issue in Edo period Japan. Why? Because about equal to 10% of the human population in Edo was actually dogs. There was a lot of stray dogs in Edo, and this is kind of an issue that literally the street is covered with stray dogs, you go around, like, get bitten by these roadie dogs a lot, because they're pretty hungry, they're pretty angry, and they don't really like people too much. So Edo's like, it's like a rat problem, but with dogs. So the people of Edo, well, they weren't too kind to dogs and animals, and being we just come out here with Japan of total war, People weren't really that kind to living things as well. People used to be not very kind to one another. So, when Shouri Amani no Re gets declared and now dogs are now gods, you must call dogs or Inosama. Yes, <laughs> dog gods. This kind of put people of Edo kind of on edge a little bit. There was like secret police watching people if they would hurt any of these stray dogs, and if not, they would get punished. So it was pretty brutal. But no, it didn't really stop there. Just the dogs. Next, it was horses. Then it was fish, and then it even got to bugs. So basically, all living things except plants and humans too. We don't really care about those. You could not hurt. You could not kill. You must protect. And now you may think, well, all killing of living things is banned. So that means you can't actually sell meat anymore. So this wanting to protect dogs escalated because he's the shogun. He doesn't really care. He's in his own little palace. It escalated to the point that the whole meat industry of like food and meat production, like selling and in restaurants was well abolished right you couldn't sell meat anymore you couldn't buy meat anymore because you couldn't kill any animals so Edo became vegetarian 
well not by choice, but by consequence of this law. But it's worth noting that this wasn't actually just for dogs and animals by humans, there's actually a whole series of laws which really just protect all life. You must love life. And it wasn't just for animals, it was also for like sick people. Like if someone is sick, it sells your house. Most people in the time would be like, nah, go away sick person, get out of my other side. Nope, now this rule, you must care for that person if they're sick inside of your house. So if someone like falls down inside of your house, like an old man, a poor little old man, you must care for him. Another really good one was, well, you can't throw away your kids anymore. Like that's one obvious for nowadays, right? Like what, what, why would people do that? But for Edo, well, had a sort of population problem where males were priorities over females for kids so a lot of especially young girls got thrown out of their houses and if you have financial issues well it was quite common to throw your kids away now that's gone so hooray and the final one is well you must love all life I think Japan before this like 100 200 years ago was in a total state of war and now we're pretty like progressive. The whole place is now vegetarian. Ooh. So now my you may thinking like, how did this law actually become about? What was the feeling or the thinking of the dog shogun? Yes, Inu Shogun. That he should do this law. That he has to do this. Well, the reason was his heir. He did not have an heir for his reign. He didn't have a younger son. We didn't have a son. Well, he had a son and he died, sadly. Well, it's very, very sad. And his mother, well, was an extremely devoted Buddhist. Why? Because after having the son, who now came Shogun, throughout her whole life, she prayed and she prayed to Buddha that, well, please make my son Shogun. Because he was not but he's the legitimate son. She was a concubine of the previous Sogan and had a child. So this guy, Tsunayoshi, wasn't really thought about that he was going to come the Shogun. But by luck of chance, basically luck of dying out of his brothers, he became Shogun. And well, she was over the moon. Well, a miracle happened. She's been praying all these years for Buddha and it finally came true. So when we have this problem of inheritance, his mother, well, she goes to the Buddhist monks. And what do the Buddhist monks say? Well, if you do not get an heir, if your son does not have an heir, calamity will come to Japan. Ooh. And what, how are we gonna stop calamity come to Japan? How are we gonna make his son have an heir? Well. We must look to the Chinese signs of the zodiac. They will bring us answers. Yes, and he was what sign? Of course, he was the sign of the dog. <laughs> oh, Inu Sama. And because of that, the monk said, Well, your son needs to gain an heir. He must look after dogs. Yes, Inu or Daiji Shinosai was the order and from this well his mother went back to his son well son i found the answer we must protect dogs and being togawa tsunyoshi is a mother's boy he saw this the only to answer and well shinri awarete no re got put in place and we enter the period which should be commonly called dog Jedi, Inu Jedi. So what do you think about the reign of the Dark Shogun? Pretty funny, right? If you have any thoughts about this period in Japan, please leave comments below on any way you find this podcast, but that would mean the world to me. And for whatever way you listen, please subscribe. See you next time on JJ Japan. Saigo Mandakita Kurita Hontani Arigatou Gozaimashita. 
日じゃあね。